What's up, dogs? It's your boy Pete. Um, I picked this up today from Toys R Us. It's a Black Series Luke Skywalker A New Hope lightsaber. After purchasing this, I found out that I can't remove the blade, and I was kind of bummed by that. Then I'm looking at this. I looked all over online, videos, Reddit threads, you name it. Couldn't find anything on how to take off the Black Series blade. I don't think anyone attempted to. I'm not sure why. I found out a way how to take out the blade without damaging the uh, the lightsaber itself. But I put it back together just to show that that it could go back together. It still works. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take off this red button inside here. Now what I did to get this out is I pried it up just a tiny bit here. And once I got it up enough, I was able to grab it with the uh, needle nose pliers really carefully, just like that. And on the inside here, you have uh, Phillips. So you would unscrew the Phillips inside here. And once you got that loose, you have your button here. And then you can go ahead and slide over this piece here, just rotate it right around there. You might not want to go too far because you could end up scratching some of the, uh, the brush steel here. Now this little piece here can just come right off. Next part is the other side. Now same thing, you wanna take out this tiny little glass looking piece here. Now this part was a little bit trickier. I ended up scratching mine just a tiny bit. But the same thing, you wanna just pry this in there a tiny bit and eventually it should pop off. There was a tiny bit of glue in there, but not too much. One thing you wanna know is keep everything together as you take them apart. Inside here you have another Phillips. Unscrew that there. And this pops off. And then you have this here. Keep these guys together. Now right above that is this little flathead screw here. So you just wanna go ahead and unscrew this. Now the next part is a little bit tricky. The thing you wanna take off are these two little brass prongs on that side and the two brass prongs on this side. They're actually uh, plugs of some sort. So what I'm doing is just grabbing one here and I'm twisting as I pull. So this is one of them here. You can see they have uh, ridges to kind of catch the plastic. So go ahead and pull off the rest. Now this stuff, it looks like brass. And I'm pretty sure it is brass because I can't seem to scratch it with my pliers. Next thing to take off is this little guy right here. Just go ahead and unscrew this. And everything should just come right apart like that. Next you have this part right here. Now, this part can be a little bit tricky. If you have help, ask someone to give you a hand with this, holding this on one end and then you can unscrew the other side. Um, now when you're unscrewing this, the first one, you'll take the first one off, it'll come off pretty easily, but when you take the second one off this uh piece right here is going to want to spring open so just be aware of that so you're uh so nothing goes flying where you don't want it to there we go now you want to take these bolts out you could take this this part off or you could leave it on um i just took it off so it doesn't end up rattling every year one thing you want to know though is when you take it off you might scratch some of the uh, brushed aluminum here. Inside of these two right here, you have two Phillips. Now when you take these off the first time, it's going to come right out and you'll have two blue wires attached to it. So be careful about that. When I took mine apart, I cut the blue wires because I couldn't feed it through the hole here. Um, if you have a soldering gun, it should be pretty easy to, to uh, take off the wires and throw them back on see here I had tape holding it on the inside and the tape came off as I took it out I'm not sure why they're both blue but I used the sharpie to mark um, the two on one side before I cut them you should be able to just swiggle it side to side and this comes right off just like that so if you observe it a little bit go look around you'll notice that there is a pin. Here's the pin right here. The pin goes all the way through to the other side here. 
and that's what's holding this in place the blade now what i did was i took my exacto knife and i slowly sh carefully shaved around here around the pin exposing it like this and then what i was able to do after exposing it is grab the pin with the uh, needle nose pliers and i kind of just wiggled it and it came out just like that there's no glue or nothing so once you have that pin out you're going to want to take off this back section now, same thing they have a tiny pin through here and a tiny pin through here now they don't go very deep and what i was able to do is take the uh, flathead screwdriver here and sort of pry it up a tiny bit after that you just tilt it back a tiny bit pry this side up and should come free now you want to pull this out really carefully because they have wires attached through here and then once you have that off this thing is pretty much free to go so what you're gonna do is just give it a little wiggle here just keep wiggling it twisting twisting and pulling through just like this and there you go that's the piece you need and once you have it out you pretty much have this you might have noticed this little part that I scuffed up and what I was doing is I was I was just curious at um, how the lighting system works for these lightsabers um, I had to expose the pin here to take it off so I had to cut with a serrated blade around the pin to expose it so I'd be able to pull it out with uh, needle nose pliers and I'll show you guys I'll show you guys what that looks like so on the inside of the blade they have here a layer of styrofoam on the inside here they have a strip of LEDs now these LEDs go right to the end of the blade along with the styrofoam and that's how it, that illuminates it just animates the LEDs going up now I was hoping it was some type of um, there would be some type of light here on the bottom that I can throw inside of the hilt but unfortunately that's not the case here so I'm gonna throw everything back together here and just press the pin back in there don't go too far in case you want to pull it out so this here this blade I'm gonna throw this into the box uh, just for a keepsake maybe I want to put it back together one day for cosplay you never know or I could end up selling the whole thing who knows now putting this back together is much easier than taking it apart you simply just slide this in here the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, put this center bolt right here I really despise flathead screwdrivers and screws and bolts put together this button right here slide that back on there sneak this little guy in there and this was a Phillips screw number one and it screws back in there now some of the glue is still left on here um, I'm just gonna leave it as that um, it seems to stay in place so next thing we're going to slide that in there rotate this back over and throw this guy back in place screw this bad boy in there pause get this, the button in here now this too kind of seems to just want to stay in there it won't really pop out unless you really want to try and then next we have the gold prongs forgot to mention that one of the prongs have this little metal flap um, the flaps just stay in there these flaps actually go to the top you want to grab your needle nose pliers when you get that metal flap in the slot you just match up where the holes are for the bolt and you just press it back in there grab one of these guys and that just presses in there give it a little twist pops right in there and then last one here pops in there next we have this now you're gonna need this to uh, put everything back together even though it doesn't really serve a 
a purpose because the electronics aren't inside. And we'll grab these tiny bolts. Screw that bad boy in there. And one more there. Next thing we're gonna do is pop this boy back in. Now, you wanna keep this little slot here on the uh, on this side here. Cause if you put it this way, someone's gonna notice. <laughs> I'm gonna notice. This part right here is a little bit tricky because you remember how it flung open? Now, if you have a clamp, you could clamp this together and then screw it back together. Now, if you're like me, you don't have any friends or clamps, I used a crescent wrench. Just like that. And then this way I was able to get this guy in there. Grab one of these nuts and get it just tight enough to hold. That's all you really need. Now you could take this off. Tighten that up there. Okay. Now I had the nuts on this side here with the button sticking out the most. I'm not sure if it matters which way they go, but that's the way it was when I first took it apart. So that's how I'm going to put it back together. This little uh, clasp right here goes on the top side where the extruding button is. Then we have the button here. You're going to notice a tiny slot right here. And this is where the actual button is to activate the saber. You want to match those up there. Sneak this in here. Get this side over. And then, then take the little screw, the flathead screw. This would be easier if I had friends again. Or friends that are Star Wars fans. Okay, come on buddy. There we go. Hey, flathead screws. They look nice, but when it comes to actually using them for speed and time and whatever else, they're just terrible. Now, these other things here, I'm gonna throw these into the, the box. And there we go. This is it, your lightsaber hilt. Now, I've always wanted one of these to display in a case or or even just, uh, you know, hang it from my belt or something when I go to Comic-Con. I think this is it's close enough to, to screen replica. I've always wanted the first Luke Skywalker saber hilt. And now I have one. Now putting it back together is pretty much the same thing, just in reverse. And that's it. Thank you for watching.